Hello folks, uh, this question belongs to, let me write the code here, so 9702-22FM2020, so it is 2020, February, March session, paper 22, and the question number is 5. This question is concerned with the chapter, uh, current electricity. So the first question says, define the ohm, so ohm is the SI un unit of resistance, and it is simply volt per ampere. Now number B, it says a wire has a resistance of 1.8 ohm, so it is R. The wire has a uniform cross section area of 0.38 millimeter square. So this is A, A equal to 0.38 into 10 to the power uh, minus 3 squared, since it is millimeter square. And uh, is made of metal of resistivity this much, so it is equal to rho. So calculate the length of the wire. So that's not a difficult issue. So we have got R equal to rho L by A, which gives us L is equal to R A by rho equal to R is 1.8 into A is 0 0.38 into 10 to power minus 3 squared, sorry, squared whole divided. 9.6 into 10 to the power minus 7 ohm meter. So when I do it, its calculation, it will be equal to 1.8 into 0.38 exponent uh, minus 6 whole divided uh, 9.6 exponent minus 7 equal to. So this is equal to 0 0.7125 equal to 0 0.7125 ohm so if i write in 2 sf it will be equal to 0 point 0 0.72 uh, sorry this is a meters actually meters because we are finding the length now number c it says a resistance x of uh, uh, resist resistor x of resistance 1.8 ohm is connected to a resistor y of resistance 0 0.60 ohm and a battery P as shown like this. The battery P has an electromotive force EMF of 1.2 volt, 1.2 volt, and a negligible internal resistance. Explain in terms of energy why the PD across resistor X is less than the EMF of the battery. So the reason is simple: is because some energy is uh, uh, spent uh, spent on this uh, uh, resistor also. Especially when you say resistance, they release uh, heat energy, so some energy is wasted here. So there is no other uh, no other uh, means of wasting. So had it uh, had it uh, had some some sort of uh, uh, inter resistance, there could be some waste wastes, but it says no. So the only waste is it at Y. Now calculate the PD across the resistor X. So it will be equal to V X is equal to uh, resistance of x divided resistance of x plus resistance of y into the emf emf e equal to 1.8 divided 8 plus uh, uh, 0.6 uh, into 1.2 so this will be equal to it is simply voltage divider principle so it should be equal to uh, 1.8 divided 2.4 sorry 2.4 equal to into 1.2 so it gives us 0 0.9 volt so 0 0.9 volt 0 0.9 now the next page in the next page we have this so another battery q of emf 1.2 volt and uh, negligible inner resistance so that means that it's very much alike to p is now connected into the circuit to produce a new circuit uh, new circuit in figure 5.2 so we have a new circuit here uh, formed by adding uh, this Q on P so here we have P only the question of the first page and here we have added Q as well state whether the addition of battery Q causes the current to increase decrease or remain the same in resistor X and battery P so what we have here is when we connect uh, batteries in parallel parallel uh, the PD should be same the PD should be same because it is the common pointer so PD is same so PD across the whole combination is same so since uh, resistance 
uh, resistance is same as before so x and y 1.80 and 0.6 and pd also is same the current here should be same because i equal to v by the total resistance so what you have is the pd is same because of parallel combination uh, the resistors are also same that's why current should be same so it should be same now battery p here so what here what happens is initially this current was contributed by p only now this current is contributed by two of them two of them which add here and become that particular current so the shear of p should decrease because that shear is equally uh, equally supported by q as well equally so that's why shear of p should be less so current should be less now next question question number e the circuit shown in figure 5.2 is modified to produce a new circuit shown in 5.3 so again modification the total resistance of the uh, calculate the total resistance of the resistors current in parallel. So that means we have to calculate the resistance this thing. So R P is equal to let us say R P is equal to uh, three point six into one point eight divided three point six plus one point eight equal to. So it's the formula for parallel combination. So it gives us uh, it gives us. 3.6 into 1.8 equal to divided 3.6 plus 1.8 divided so I should use a bracket otherwise it will not give me proper results so it follows the board mass rule equal to so this is 1.2 ohm 1.2 ohm mm. now we have to find the current in resistor Y so the current resistor Y means this current or this current it is the current through the circuit so it divides here and here but otherwise everywhere it should be the same so this i should be equal to total emf uh, total emf let us say by r total so that's equal to total emf is 1.2 volt and r total is equal to this thing is 1.2 1.2 and this thing is 0 0.6 so plus 0 0.6 this is the R total so now it becomes divided it is 1.8 so this becomes 0 0.6666 6, 6, 6, 6, and so on so it nearly equal to 0 0.67 ampere so it is 0 0.67 ampere so this completes the solution to this problem